Hey kids, it's Leanne with Happy Mail by Leanne. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different this morning. Today is Stamp Your Stash number 13. And we're going to be using this Simply Summer stamp set from 2000 from Stampin' Up. We're going to be using this image, this image, and maybe this image. Um, but uh, the difference is I didn't do any prep work. Um, I've chosen my paper. That's the only prep work I've done. So, um, let's get into it. Uh, I have an idea in my mind of what I want to do. Um, but, uh, shoot, I didn't get enough white paper out. <laughs> so I'm going to have to, um, get some white paper out. The first thing that I want to do is stamp this um, beverage image because I'm going to put some glossy accents on it and I need it needs time to dry. So we're going to use the stays on because we're going to color it in. Um, and I don't want the I don't want the the ink to bleed. Just like that. Gorgeous. I wonder if I should nah, I'm not going to. I, w I was wondering if I should um emboss it, but I'm, I'm not going to emboss this image. I don't feel like embossing it today. So, and we're going to put glossy accents on it where it looks like there's liquid in the cup. So, it won't need. It won't need. My desk is a mess. I need to take some time to clean the desk. I uh, I get in this habit of uh, for a while of putting everything away, everything in its place, you know, and then uh, and then I break that habit and. Uh, No, if I like that color. Uh, I think I'm going to break out the tri blends. Ooh, let's do the orange. I'm going to color in this flower with the orange. I'm trying to go quickly so we don't run out of time. But we may run out of time. And then, yeah, I'm gonna do the light yellow for the lemonade. side of the lemon. The images are gathering color. I'm not going to color in the ice cubes. There's ice cubes in this picture. So I'm not going to color in the ice cubes. Because ice is clear. At least my ice is clear when my filter is working. <laughs> My filter's not working, my ice has floaties in it. That's gross. So, here's your reminder to change your refrigerator filter so that your ice doesn't have floaties in it. 
Is that darker? I kind of do. kind of do. Oh, there. I'll just shade it. That's better. So I'm going in with the mid on the um, lemon peels. What color picnic blanket should I make, you guys? What color should this picnic blanket be? I'm having a hard time deciding. What's, this is the paper I'm going to use. Uh, I can pick it up. This is the paper we're going to use. So... I'm not sure what color I want to do. I kind of want pink. I like pink and yellow and green and orange together. They're pretty colors. Pretty good colors. So let's do pale pink in medium. My birthday is this month, and I wanted a party. I think I may have talked about it a little bit already in one of my previous videos. I don't remember. I asked a couple friends if they could help me plan and execute a party, and neither one of them were available to do that. Um, so just Monday, I asked my parents if I could use their backyard poolside yard to have a pool party on my birthday and they happily agreed they like using their pool you know they, they like it when people use their pool um, and so I'm I made invitations yesterday and um, I'm going to get them in the mail today and we're having a birthday party and I am super excited about it because you only turn 50 once at least that's what I've heard <laughs> okay we're going to trim this before I put the The accents on it because I don't want there to be any issues with trimming it. Oh shoot. That's what I get for not holding my paper down. I'm gonna go this way so that I have oh you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm lining my I'm lining my image up with this lump I'm having a hard time cutting it straight though I'm t very tired this morning so um, I'm a little bit quiet and I'm a little bit quiet and 
not quite thinking clearly. So if I make mistakes on this card, that's why. But you know, mistakes are just, what is it? Bob Ross says, happy accidents. Or at least he used to say it. He doesn't say anything anymore. Okay, so I'm going to take my glossy accents. Uh, I don't know if they even sell this glossy accent, accents, clear dimensional embellishments anymore, but I'll look and it's by Ranger. I'll look and see if I can find it. This is forever old. It might not even, it might not even run. It might be dry. I'm just sticking a needle or a pin down in there to get it going. <sighs> just a corsage pin. And I'm squeezing this as hard as I can and nothing's coming out. I think that my glossy accents is toast. It's weird because um, when I stick my pin down in there, there's movement. Must be um, dry stuff in the nozzle. So let's see if we can get that out. Goof out of the tip of the nozzle. There we go. Movement. Okay. Very little movement. <laughs> it's not coming out very good, but it's coming out. So here is. The cup, you probably cannot see the difference. I will hold the image up to the camera so you can see as soon as I'm done drawing the glossy accents. Okay, I don't know if you can see see where it's glossy. I just put it, um, yeah, you can see it a little. I just put it where the liquid would be. So I'm gonna set that to the side to dry. I'm gonna recap that. I'll have to clean it out later to make sure it doesn't get goopy again. And now I'm going to trim my paper. This looks kind of dirty. It's okay. Eight and a half by eleven paper calls for a five and a half cut here. If I'm going this direction with my to score my fold line because I like to do that. It makes for a crisper fold. I used, went years without doing that. That's at four and a quarter. Because um, it's eight and a half. Half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. Um, but yeah, I went years without bone folding my Cards. Mm. This would be cute with some bright, um, uh, 
base colors. I hope it won't like hurt any of them. I'm not gonna make you wait. <laughs> so this, I want this paper to be. Five and a half by four and a quarter. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Because I want it to cover the whole thing. I'm having trouble thinking clearly this morning. There's five and a half. We'll set that aside to use later on something else. And four and a quarter. This paper came in a stack of paper somebody gave me a hundred years ago. Um, and I have never used it. Okay, we've got two card bases. Now I can make two of those cards. Uh, two of the same card, which is kind of fun. So we're going to set this card stuff aside because um, that's the step we're at. I'm going to work on a separate, a different card now for a minute. Um, I don't know which paper I want to use first. I think I like this big floral paper with the pink. Yes. Yeah. That is what I like. And this one, we're going to cut vertical so the card goes this way. Um, so this one, we want four and a quarter. Four and, four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, let's cut the five and a half first. So we don't waste as much paper. Oh. <laughs> I actually want to do this differently. I'm going to cut this at five and a half because this is my base. It's going to be my base paper. Set that aside for later. Okay, four and a quarter. I'm really having a hard time thinking of these measurements today. Is that four and a quarter? This should be. Oh, I'm not thinking clearly. I'm just not thinking clearly, you guys. And this one, I want about, how many inches do I want? Two. Two inches. Let's do two and a half. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Set that aside. By four and a quarter. Glue that right down there, like that. And I'm going to test something. I want to use these flowers. I'm not sure I'm going to like them on... I'm using Catherine Pooler's Midnight. Uh, just because it's nice and juicy. I'm going to put these right here and see if I like them. Mm, I think, I think what we're going to do. 
here. Oh, oh pardon me. I'm yawning. And set this to the side. Get the trimmer out again. Do a little trick. First things first, we're going to stamp these flowers along the top. I'm going to turn it upside down so that I can see what I'm doing. I want to align it up perfectly and there's no such thing as that that word perfect is just a, oh look it looks great looks great let's clean this ink off the table so that we don't get ink on anything else that we don't want ink on I'm going to leave this ink out because I'm going to um, I'm, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to stamp another image. Oh boy, I'm so out of it today. I'm going to glue down this green paper. Trim off the excess with my scissors. I could get my trimmer out to do this, but it's quicker just to trim it off with my scissors. Oh, that went flying. Then I'm going to glue this down. I'm running out of time. I might have to do a second video and splice them together because my camera only allows me to do my camera on my phone only allows me to do so many minutes at a time. Voila! Now, I love this bicycle image. Oh, I think it's so cute. So we're going to stamp that. We're not going to color it in. We're just going to... I might change my mind. Um, but I doubt it. Uh, I don't think we're going to color it in. Oh, I need to go. paper says fun in the sun, summer, sunshine, ocean waves, uh, getaway, adventure, hot summer. So it's, it, it fits perfectly with this. Um, I was thinking about putting on some of this. it this way. Okay, we're going to put some of that on there. Do my creative process. I 
and I'm just going to hot glue it down. messed up. <laughs> yeah, I like the ruffle. I'm always doing a little bougie. <laughs> bougie extra. Okay, I'm going to trim that. And I'm going to trim it here. Let's try that. There we go. Clean my scissors off. That just makes it pop. Now, I'm going to trim off the excess from our little bicycle. I'm just going to do it the same way I did the last image. If there's a better, if you've got a better way of trimming around an image to make it, um, you know, the same all the way around without cutting the paper first, let me know. Um, the reason I do it this way is because when I cut the paper first, I often don't get the image in the square or the circle the way I like it. So this way I can just trim off the excess. It's not hard, it's just a little bit awkward. Just a little bit awkward. Okay. Let's look at that. That bike hides all the flowers. <sighs> I think I'm going to trim it a little bit more. Trim it, trim it a little bit more. Let's see. Do it right on the I don't know if you can see where I'm lining this up. I'm lining it up right along this edge. I should have glued the card base onto the I should have glued this on the card base already. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to get the adhesive on once you have like the thick embellishments on. So it's a little hill we gotta run over. <laughs> I put a lot of adhesive because I don't want my cards to fall apart. And I'm going to take my I can't remember what this is called. I'm going to take my stamping platform and use it as a guide. that on there perfectly perfectly and perfectly okay and now 
sounded like. Oh, now it works out good. Let's get the sticky scissors out. I like, I really like, I really like this in black and white, but I think if I do a little bit of color on it, that it will pop. So let's, let's color the seat on this bicycle green. Oh, that's not the color green I wanted. That's okay. Uh, and the flower's pink. And that's the only coloring I think I want to do on that. I if I if I had done a lighter green, like closer to this lime green, I think it would be better, but I didn't. So we're gonna leave it the way it is. It's no mistakes. Just happy accidents. It's all good. Uh, okay. One card down. Super cute. One card down, one card to go. Uh, I'm going to pause the video at this point uh, because our glossy accents are still pretty wet and I want them to dry. So I'll come back and finish the video in a little while. Um, maybe go have some lemonade and take a nice break.